Ya si iswa isku pusi la manze sa son ki la bafo. Uh, hello, hello, guys, and uh, welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift Bozekana. We are at uh, Stellenbosch uh, University. That's correct. Hello, my, hello. my name is Dimitri Soso, yes. and we are at the gorgeous Stellenbosch University. It's been, uh, I think, the first day out of four months that we've had good weather, so a bit of a change in scenery, you know. Um, I'm happy to be a part of the YouTube channel. I see my boy is growing it. It's going to make us proud soon once he hits that 100k. So make sure you hit that subscribe and that link. Hit that thing down below. Let's get him going. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But you tell us about yourself. Uh, what are you studying? Which year are you doing? So I'm currently second year. I was studying economics. But then I decided the route in which I was going wasn't the best for me. I couldn't necessarily see myself as an economist. So I made the move over to logistics. I'm second year now and I'm thoroughly enjoying it way more. Obviously, my degree is more route to market, transportation. I suppose logistics is everywhere in the world. The product always needs to go from point A to point B. So I feel in my degree, it will always be needed. Whether AI or technology evolves, there will always be someone that needs to control a product going from A to B. So I'm currently in my second year. I have one more year and then deciding on whether I'm going to do honors or not. The, that will be the next plan forward. Okay. So what is logistics even about? What's happening there? So in terms of what it's all about, it's more like control, controlling transportation in a sufficient and effective way possible. Make sure that we get goods as effectively and as time consumably to, to a good in, uh, in the most efficient and effective way. For example, you don't necessarily want to wait maybe one to two, three days for a certain product that's sm so small. You want to get it to you as quick and effective as possible. So that's ideally the whole role. I mean, it does diverse into a lot, a lot of major things, but necessarily if to put into short perspective, it's just basically transporting good from A to B in the shortest and most effective way possible. Okay, so what are the challenges you came across as a student here in Stellenbosch uh, studying economy? Challenges, my goodness me. Uh, I don't think some in some of my tests I haven't hit 50 in over like, I think just hitting 50 has been a goal of mine and I can't even sometimes achieve that. So it, the pressure gets a little bit difficult. I think what my biggest problem was last year is managing managing time and also managing just other responsibilities. But the most important thing that's helped me is find balance. Like whether it is be with your mates, just make sure you find balance. You can't necessarily be into the books or out of the books. You have to kind of find a way to balance everything. Um, like me specifically, what takes me out of the shell of the struggles, I like to go to the gym, I like to train. That's kind of like my escape. Because obviously, if you don't stay on top of varsity and you don't stay on top of the work and it does catch up to you. So just staying on top of it, if, if like you, for me, attending classes is good, but if you don't attend classes, that's fine. I also don't necessarily attend classes, but I just make sure that I stay on top of my work. And that's obviously just been a big advantage for me, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Being also with a, a great amount of friends also necessarily helps. I mean, you can bounce back off each other in terms of getting help. Last year, I tried to like do my own way of studying and that did not work at all. So, oh, so you like get a good bunch of mates so you can really bounce off with each other, you know? Okay, okay, okay. What is nice about uh, being here at Stellenbosch? What are other activities besides studying that you indulge in? To be honest with you, I'm a very adventurous person. And I think out of all the universities in Stellenbosch, Stellenbosch is the one and only university that gives a university experience. I mean, look at this. I don't think you're going to go anywhere else and you're going to see students just wandering around. I mean, you feel safe. You feel at ease. You can just walk back to your apartment, walk back to your flat. You see other students. It's just a different vibe. It gives that European lifestyle. I'm a Greek, so I like that European lifestyle. I like that vibe. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, just the different amenities. It's clear, it's beautiful, the mountains. If you want to go for nice scenic hikes, there's got so many different disposals at your at your doorstep, you know. So, you'll be stupid enough not to make use of the opportunities. Okay, okay going back to economics, uh, probably a great revelation is watching. Uh, they want to study economics. Like, what are the requirements of studying economics here in Stellenbosch? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, in terms of the requirements, obviously, depending on how well you do in your grade 11 and grade 12, um, you don't necessarily need to take economics in, my, in in high school to necessarily do economics. I just I I I, I took it um, from grade ten to matric, so I kind of enjoyed the module. But when I got to varsity, I was like, no ways, this is not working with me. Um, but if you if you want to go that route and you see yourself sitting in front of charts and graphs and you can see yourself being an economist, then by all means go ahead. That's how I thought. But the minute I saw that that module, 
I said, no, 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 no. I just left that at that. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of people that do enjoy the module and there's a lot of help that you can get from it. So if you are planning on going that route, you know, it's, it's up to you. It's beneficial. But for me, it wasn't, you know. Okay. So, but it's, I'm enjoying what I'm studying now. Logistics is more, more along the lines of what I'm doing. And that's also necessarily if you guys feel that you've chosen a course and you maybe aren't enjoying it. There's no pressure. And there's no problems in changing. There's so many people. You won't be the first. You won't be the last. There's so many people that change. And they finally find something in which they like. Because ideally, you're setting yourself up for success in what you're doing now. You don't necessarily just want to be held back by, oh, let me just finish my degree just to finish it. You want to kind of basically setting yourself up for success for your future. You know what I mean? Oh. Wow, wow, wow. So, you recommend changing, right? Recommend, if you find... If you, if you find you're struggling, I recommend changing. 100%. You're putting... You're investing money into this. I 100% recommend changing. Okay, okay. We just have some any last words and words of advice for any student that is going to do first year or that are currently in their first year of study? Guys, any advice I'd recommend? Just have fun, enjoy it, work hard. I mean... The key to it, find balance. That's that's ultimately been what I've, I've uh, managed to find and enjoy my vast experience. I've found balance. Whether it be my friends, my studies, my socials, everything else, find balance and I promise you guys will succeed. This is only a short term. Make the most of it and by the time you know it, we're going to be working. We're going to have other bigger responsibilities, other pressures. I know we have responsibilities and pressures now, but it's minor for what's expected in the big world out there. So I think just find balance and enjoy what we have. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. So lastly, I just want to, what are the opportunities that someone with economics have like outside the world where can they work which companies can they like i work in you know okay perfect. so in terms of economics and even logistics like even if i major in transport economics i mean i can work anywhere abroad all around the world in different logistics companies different managing different logistics providers or just controlling route to market anywhere in the world in terms of economics i would say the niche is so marketed and i mean there's only a small percentage diverse amount of students actually for full going into economics so it, it will definitely be a, a degree a degree that's demanded so if you can really carry it out i definitely think there'll be a lot of people wanting to accept you when you're part of the company especially if you're going to be adding value okay thank you thank you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you guys uh, thank you so much. I hope you got inspired and you got a sense of being a student here in Stellenbosch University. It's nice being here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Till next time. Bye-bye. Come in with a boyfriend. She kissed three different guys. Walk out with a boyfriend. Like nothing happened. Like nothing she had a promise ring on, bro. She has a promise ring on. Like nothing happened, bro. These girls are ruthless. Normal around. They will break you, Okay, we have nice wine farms. We have our scenery is very beautiful. Um, but is it easy to make friends here, having friends, or it's very difficult? Or people are focused on their own business 